So yesterday I took my teenage daughter dr driving. This is true. It happened yesterday. She's only been driving for one day, right? She just got her permit and we hired this guy who takes her out for like a couple hours in his car and teaches her how to drive a little bit. So now she's going to drive with daddy. This happened yesterday. Now she's going to drive with daddy. And uh, I get in my car and she gets in there and she's very proud. She has her permit. She, she adjusts the mirrors. She gets the, the seat right. Everything is right. Showing me how responsible it is. She pulls out and after like, like two minutes, I, she's going to make a right on red, but she doesn't really look to the left like she's supposed to if you're making a right on red. And there's a car coming, and I just tell her, stop. And she doesn't know what to do. She's not stopping. She's like, she keeps going. I'm like, you got to stop. And I, I, I yelled at her for a second. And it frazzled her. I didn't even tell this to my wife. Tell, my wife's going to watch. She's like, that's what happened yesterday. <laughs> So I'm like, stop. And she gets a little frazzled. She pulls the car over and she's almost in tears. I'm like, why are you in tears? And she goes, because I want you to think of me as a good driver. I want you to think of me as a good driver. She's so proud to show her dad that she could drive. You know how many hours she's actually driven behind a real car at this point in her life? A total of four hours in her life. That's it. And you know what I said to her? Don't be a good driver, be a good learner, be a good student. And I said to her, I love you, but you are not a good driver yet because you've only driven for four hours in your entire life. It is not possible for you to be a good driver, but you can be a good student. 